Hi everybody, thanks for joining us for our first ever 2 p.m. Uh, webinar. We hold this series at 10 a.m. normally. And um, for some reason, a bunch of West Coast people weren't, weren't showing up. I guess uh, you guys don't like waking up at seven for, for webinars. So, um, uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Smartbox Pro. We're going to be doing an unboxing, show you all the pieces for it, and explain what they do. Um, next week we're going to have a webinar on uh, Neuronexic, Neuronexus Basics. Um, and it's going to be kind of an inside look on how we find our information and, and information that's open for you. So, go through. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of good stuff in there that you can check out. And so our presenter today is going to be Lawrence and with that I'm going to turn it over to him. Hello everybody. My name is Lawrence, one of the lead account executives here at NeuroNexus. Um, today I'm going to be going over a couple of different pieces about the Smartbox Pro and what's inside of it. Uh, before we begin, I um, wanted to show just a couple of things on the website that you can actually go through and start a download from home and use it on your own time so that you can go through and explore the software and explore the different pieces that we have to offer. We do have uh, simulation and a couple other things. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, so from the main website, which is neuronexus.com, uh, just start over at the products tab and then go on down to data and acquisition uh, and then link over to the Allego download section. So from this section here, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a couple different things. First one is the quick start guide. This is where you're gonna find the different things that we're going over today uh, and see the step-by-step -step of the pieces that we will be talking about uh, both in and outside the box, in and outside of the Lego and hardware and software details. Uh, the next piece that you're going to see is the robustness of what the software has to offer, which is Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, and then we also have for a couple of users that we noticed, uh, Smartbox USB driver too. Um, from that portion, we also have scripts that are available for MATLAB uh, and various other outputs so that you can look and see and feel your data on multiple different uh, systems, APIs, and whatever else that's on there as well. So with that, let's go ahead and move over to uh, the actual unboxing here. And so here is the actual smart box itself. So out of the box, you can see packaging is beautiful. Comes in a nice blue uh, that we have here. And let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. So right off the top, uh, you can see that we actually have the NeuroNexus uh, quick start guide that is in the box itself. We'll go ahead and get to that in just a moment. Uh, the other piece that we have here too is the actual smart box unit itself. So this you can take a look. Uh, the portability, how it fits just right there in my hand. Here's the front end portion of that as well too. Uh, so let's go ahead and set this down here in front and then we're gonna look at a couple different things. Here is our uh, HDMI, it's mini HDMI to plug into the front port. This is a proprietary cable. Uh, we'll get into a little bit more detail on this and then how it works with the different ports that come on the front of the system. We also have the power adapter as well too. And then we also have our fast USB 3.0 cable. We'll get into a little bit of detail on this one too. A couple pieces that we place in just to make sure that you are ready to do your experiment whenever you're ready to do it. We have the banana plug patch cord here. And we also let you have two of those pieces. One I took out of the package because we're gonna be plugging this in later on and I didn't wanna go uh, without one. Another one too that we have are the BNC to BNC cables. Again, two with that as well. And then last but not least, See if I can fit these in there. These are the uh, BNC to alligator clips for experiments that will allow for this as well too. So as you can see, completely out of the box, the machine is capable and ready to start recording right from the get-go. Uh, everything that you should need or run into is available here. One thing I will show you as well too, 
Uh, we also have a head stage. This one here is a 64 channel head stage chronic. And then we also have the options to go uh, with a couple different pieces. And then we also have a multiplexer adapter here too um, that I can go through and show off as well inside that box. So with all of these pieces, this is what you're getting to start your recordings with a smart box system. So let's go ahead and kind of take away a couple of these different things and then we'll go through them piece by piece and then I can give you the options of what each one of these do, why you're going to use them, why you're gonna want them and what you can do with them. So just off of the start of this piece here, uh, let's go ahead and plug this box in just so you can see what it looks like lit up here. So just from the, uh, the left to right portion, you can actually see uh, that the power, the different uh, output pieces of where these are, uh, the ground reference, different pieces like that. We'll get into this in just a second, but starting off, you can actually see this machine is quiet. Lightweight, portable, durable. This thing's made out of metal. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and switch this off real quick. I'm gonna unplug this just for a second, just so we can make some space here and kind of free up some clutter. Uh, and then we'll start from here. So a couple of pieces that come with this as far as options. Um, the one piece that I had placed out here is the chronic head stage, which again is a 64 channel. But what we do have is the option of being able to go through and place in acute, chronic, uh, let me move this up just a little bit there for you. So acute, chronic, uh, 16, 32 channel, 64 channel. Uh, we can also go with one of our acute ones here that I have up. Uh, so you have options. When you first go through any one of these options, you can select uh, for what you think you want to start with your experiment and then go through and we can start off with that head stage. So it just depends on what you're looking for. These are the options that you're picking. It will come with one of these. So as long as we know which one it is, then we'll go through and tie that in there. For the time being, I'm gonna put just the standard 64 head stage right off of this. So moving forward just a little bit, I also wanna go through and point out our cable. So it's an HDMI to mini HDMI, but this is proprietary, so we can get 256 channel count from a single port off of this one. So each one of these channels here at the top row, uh, each one of these channels is capable of 256. So you can see here, and then this box itself gets 1,024 channel count right from the get-go. So if you wanna record something that high, this box has the capability of doing that. So if we wanna go through and plug in a couple of pieces, let's try this out and see what it looks like. So just starting from the top, the top portion here, we have the power LED button. We have the ABCD portion here. Let me get that a little bit more focused. So the ABCD portion here, these are the, um, the head stage input imports. And then we have the RE portion for the reference electrode, the CE portion for the counter electrode, and then the potential stat galvanostat port for stimulation, and then also for impedance checking on the probes. So just to go in and plug in, it's as simple as going in, taking this piece here, selecting one of the ports you want to record from. You can record from any one of these ports uh, simultaneously and go ahead and plug in the head stage from there. So at this point, we would be ready. Of course, we would need to plug in the power piece in the back, but we would be ready to go through and record from the 64 channel chronic probe with what we have here. Uh, so let's say we wanted to go through and utilize some of Neuronex's uh, cutting edge smart probes. So if we want to go through and take this single port up to uh, 256 channels, how hard would that be? What would we have to do? Uh, literally all we would have to do is pick this up, take it out of the package that comes in the shipping, and then plug it in. And right just like that, we are ready to start recording 256 channel count. Uh, from this probe here. So let me see if I can get this focused in a little bit better. So this probe here is 256 channels. It's as simple as that. Our probe ending is right down here at the tip there. I don't want to get too close because I'm not trying to record myself, but uh, that's what we have going on here. It's as simple as that. This box would output to the computer and you would have your recordings 
going to the Allego software that you can see in real time. Uh, moving forward just a little bit, we also have our uh, stimulation, potential stat, galvanic stat, and then also the impedance monitoring through this. And then we'll move to the back of the box here. So here's just a couple other pieces. Move this off to the side just for a second. Here's a couple other pieces that I wanted to go through. Uh, on this end, we have digital ins, two of them, digital outs, two of those. Uh, uh, analog in, analog out, two of each, uh, as you can see off of these ones. We also have um, the, the, ground, the system ground, and then the USB 3.0 connector. So one thing I want to tell you about the USB 3.0 connector is that it's 10 times faster than USB 2.0. That's virtually no lag for the amount of time that that spike hits and then it goes to your computer uh, so that your software can go through and record that. Um, something like that is extremely important so that you can have uh, a, you know, a definitive amount of neuroscience when you want it and how fast and how quick you're looking to get those results or how you want it. And so with this, you'd be able to go through, plug this into the system, get those pieces out, and then your information is there um, transmitted digitally right to from the head stage all the way to the, the computer system itself. Um, this is also a 9 volt DC output and then we also have for people that love to hear the sounds of spikes we have an audio put an audio jack on that one a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio jack so we can go through and listen to exactly what these are uh, and if things get a little heated it's all right because we got a vent here for you so there's a vent on this end here to go through and kind of uh, release the air pieces from that. So if anything gets too hot to handle, it's vented. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at a couple of different pieces just kind of moving forward. Uh, you know, as far as what we have here, let's go ahead and see what this looks like, um, you know, with our smart link cable. So I wanted to show a couple pieces that can be customized here. So first, let me move this back just for a second there. So first is the actual cord itself. Um, this one I want to go through and show you guys this. This is the USB, or this is the HDMI smart link cable. Uh, and this can actually be um, customized to either the standard or we have an ultra flex edition. And part of my handwriting, it's not the best in the world, but uh, one cord, uh, a couple of cord lengths would be either three feet or six feet. Uh, you know, as far as the standard choosing. This one here is actually our standard uh, cord itself. So the Ultraflex uh, is almost half the size of this and allows you to get into tighter spaces, a little bit looser, uh, you know, either way. But the standard is a little bit more durable as far as, uh, you know, the feel and the look to what the thickness has. Uh, either one will work. It just depends on what it is that you're trying to do and what your standards are but these are the two options that you would have with this cable. Uh, moving forward with the head stage, again, we have these, and I'll show this off just one more time. This would be the selection for acute and chronic coming out of the package. So you'd be able to choose exactly how you want to get started and how you see your lab moving forward with the different options of the head stages. Um, and just to place those there, both acute and chronic. Moving forward from this piece, Again, one more point that I want to make is that it is USB 3.0, so it's 10 times faster than 2.0. And then just to get up to that 256 channel count, it's as simple as that probe right there. So all you have to do is plug something like this in, and you're utilizing the full, uh, the full capacity of that single port. Uh, so to go through and just kind of recap what this looks like plugged in, Let's see how easy it is to go through and add all these things together. Um, while we're going through and doing this, let's take a look. So we're gonna start with the power cord, and then we're gonna go ahead and then plug in this front port. We're also gonna plug in the head stage here. And then at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the computer section back over here. So we're gonna go with that USB port back here. Let's see here, let me just away. Bring this branch off, bring this branch off, and then these pieces here, we'll just 
tap here forward so you guys can see them. And then we are still going to go ahead and ground this as well too. So here's something uh, that I wanna show, you know, essentially these, these different packages that are off of these ones. Uh, the grounding, whatever it is that you want to go through and do, our BNC cables uh, that we have uh, within this allow you to go through and do a variation of, um, of experiments. So if you have something that needs triggering from behavioral uh, you know, uh, cues, then this is going to be something that you go through and plug into the back, uh, the BNC. If you have something that's you know uh, a little bit more uh, kind of standard or different approach or newer or something that requires something that needs you know, alligator clips, light sources, whatever the case is. Uh, our basic cables that come with this are enough to go through and take care of the majority of the needs that are out there. And we can always work together and talk together to see exactly, uh, you know, what's needed to go through and get your specific experiment done if it's something that's non-standard. Um, so with that being said, I mean, this is the entire plugin here. You can see how simple this is, how portable this is. Um, you know, if we were to take just a couple pieces off of this here, so if we remove the grounding, for example, we have the USB three cables is what we're looking at here uh, to go through and start recording. And again, picking this up, moving this around, you know, I can just go through, drop this off wherever I need to, and it's ready and set to go. Um, from that, you know, I think we have uh, a couple of different points that I kind of just want to point out here. Uh, so for example, uh, you know, this is a cross platform system. So this will work on Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, you also have this accompanied with the high power performance of the Allego software uh, so that you can have that probe centric, that user interface, the human touch, the basic science to get everything that you need done the way that you need it. Uh, this thing is powerful too, 1,024 channels at 30K sample per second, uh, supporting multiple probes and multimodal signals. Uh, this machine, again, portable. Uh, stereotactic registration of signals, it's versatile, it gets the job done, uh, it's everything that you could wish for, and it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of art, if I do say so myself. Uh, I think with that being said, I think we've covered the basic of what these pieces are. One piece I do want to show as well, and we kind of touched at the very beginning, but if we were to go through uh, and take a look, everything that we go over, start to finish, even on how to use a Lego, uh, can be found in the quick start guide that can be downloaded. So one point that I do want to go through and express uh, is that if people want to go through at home while we have everything going on that's going on now, um, you know, if you want to try it out, we do have the software available for download, the Lego software platform. Uh, you can download it, you can try it. We have a simulation uh, uh, file that you can go through and use. So you can try everything that you want to try, see what it looks like, hear what it sounds like, feel what it feels like, and everything that you need to do will help you through it as well too. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, there's a software and quick start guide. The download link is provided there by Alexis. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and click on that and then give it a test. If you guys, for whatever reason, uh, you know, if you have any questions or need help or find something that you want to go through or have questions on, you know, anything to do with Smartbox or really anything at all, uh, we offer support. We offer the solutions. So you just have to reach out to us. Uh, you know, we're not very good at reading minds yet, but we're very good at recording them. Uh, so just reach out to us and we'll get you exactly what you need, uh, no matter what the answer is. We'll make sure we'll get you taken care of. All right. Thanks a lot for coming. Uh, next Thursday, we're going to be doing the, the Neural Nexus Insider webinar. Um, we'd love to see you for that. And thanks a lot for your time.